Hey travelers, my name is Kristen Sarah of Hopscotch the Globe, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. Welcome to the Travel Tribe, this amazing community of like-minded people who just want to get out and explore this beautiful planet. I've done quite a few hacking videos lately, so be sure to check those out after this video. We got packing hacks, and we got solo travel hacks, among many other tips and advice on how you can travel better and travel longer and travel cheaper. I have spent days, even months, in airports over the last 13 plus years of traveling the world pretty nonstop. Over those years, I have accumulated a lot of airport and plane hacks that I'm gonna share with you. Purchase airline Wi-Fi ahead of time. A lot of flights now have onboard Wi-Fi, so when you're in the air, you can actually be online. If you purchase Wi-Fi ahead of time, though, you're gonna save money. For example, on GoGo equipped aircraft, you can save anywhere from like 10 to $20 on all day passes. Also, if you have connecting flights, if you're flying the same airline, you can use that all day pass that you purchase throughout all of your flights until you get to your destination. For my American friends out there, if you use T-Mobile, you can get one hour of free GoGo Wi-Fi. There's also credit cards like the Business Platinum Card from American Express that offers free Wi-Fi. So you can get up to 10 hours, for example, using that American Express card on GoGo Wi-Fi. When you're traveling with one other person and you're choosing your seats, one of you choose the aisle seat, one of you choose the window seat, because you're more likely to have no one sit between you in the middle seat if it's not a full flight, of course, so then you'll have all three seats to yourself. Now, if someone did choose the middle seat, you can always ask them if they can switch with you and they'll sit in either the window seat or the aisle seat. Bring a pillowcase with you on the flight and then you can stuff it with your jacket or extra clothes and make a pillow. Bring a reusable water bottle. Instead of asking the flight attendant for glasses of water over and over again throughout your flight, just ask them to fill up a big reusable water bottle that you're gonna bring. And also when you're traveling in many countries, it's not recommended to drink the tap water so you can find filtered water to fill up those bottles. I also like to bring hydration packages for the flight to stay extra hydrated when I'm flying. Bring a pen. Many people actually forget to bring a pen and it's super handy because you're gonna have to fill out custom forms on the flight. If you can get global entry or Nexus or TSA pre-check, go and do it, it'll make your custom experience and going through security much smoother and much faster. Choose your connecting airport wisely. Some of them are way more fun, have way more restaurants or shops to occupy you while you're waiting for your next flight. Rewards cards. We need to go into depth and we will in another video about the, these because they're, there's so many perks. But one of them is the American Express card, for example, the platinum I have, allows you to skip the security line at some airports, which is so helpful and really saves time. Another thing about rewards cards, such as the Platinum American Express I have, is it gives you access to hundreds of lounges around the world. In these lounges, there are buffets, all you can eat. There are fully stocked bars, coffee, tea, showers even, and resting areas. So you can take a little nap if you need to. Always fly with the same airline or an airline within the same alliance in order to get frequent flyer points so you can travel for free. Now, if none of that makes sense to you, we're gonna go in depth in another video on how you can gain points from flying and also from everyday living, and it will give you free travel. Carry on only. Never check anything ever again. It is a life changer. It speeds everything up, and you never have to worry about losing your luggage and all of your valuables. Bring a good book. There have been so many times when I've been on a flight that has no in-flight entertainment. And even if there is, it's just nice to read a book sometimes. It's like the only time I really read these days. And it's really enjoyable. And the time just goes by really fast. Charge all of your stuff before your flight. So whether that is at home or at the airport, because a lot of planes don't actually have plugs, which still blows my mind. But the worst thing is, doing work on your computer, watching a movie on your computer, and seeing that like 2% battery life and yeah. Book a seat in the back of the plane. These are usually less desirable because they tend to be closer to a bathroom or sometimes the seats don't recline, but you're more likely to get a whole row to yourself. And then you don't need a reclined seat if you can just sprawl out across four, three or four seats all to yourself. This one I haven't tried myself, 
but I heard that it works and I don't see why it wouldn't. You can bring apparently the little small alcohol bottles that are under 100 milliliters, you can bring up to five or six of them on the plane with you and just have a party in the sky. For most airlines, you have 24 hours after you booked a flight to cancel if you choose. So I say, book that flight and then talk to your boss later. Pack instant oatmeal. I like having snacks and being in control of the food on the plane because sometimes it's gross and sometimes I want more food than when they give me. So if I bring oatmeal, I just ask for some hot water and there you go. Pack peppermint and lavender essential oils. If you're someone who's nervous flying like me, dabbing a little bit of lavender on your temples and the back of your neck or just smelling it really calms me down. And it also is great for helping you go to sleep. Peppermint on the other hand is really great for headaches and clearing your sinuses, which is really helpful also on a flight because you can get clogged. Pack a hydrating face mask and moisturizer. Planes are damn dry, so dry. Stay moisturized and also stay hydrated. Keep that beautiful face of yours nice and fresh looking for when you arrive at your destination. This next one is a great resource you're gonna love. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the video description below. It is Wi-Fi passwords for airports all around the world. You're welcome. Before choosing your seats, check out a website called Seat Guru. There's also Seat Maestro. It will give you a list of all of the seats on the plane that you're gonna be taking and tell you which ones have more leg room and which ones have power outlets. Exercise the day before your flight. It will help you fall asleep on your flight. It will help you be less agitated, less anxious, less fidgety, and it will also help with your circulation and everything. It's just a really good idea overall. Splurge on a lounge day pass. If you are on a long layover, it is totally worth it. You're gonna get tons of food, unlimited food, drinks, internet, showers, a place to just hang out and relax before your flight. Bring two golf balls and a tennis ball on your flight. You can use that tennis ball, place it between your back and your seat and kind of just like roll your body around. It'll give you a nice back and shoulder massage. It feels so good. And then you can take your golf balls and place it under your feet and roll them around giving yourself a nice foot massage which is also really good for circulation too. Bring chocolates or candies or both for the flight attendants. A lot of the times you'll be treated a little extra special, given extra drinks, just treated extra nicely and sometimes even upgraded. But most importantly, you're just gonna be a nice person. If you are checking your luggage and your luggage is overweight, take out as many clothes as you need to and just put them on, layer up. And once you go through security, you can get a plastic bag from one of the stores and then just put those clothes in that bag. No need to pay extra to check extra luggage. If you do decide to check your luggage and you are in economy and there is a long line, check the first class and business class line. If there's no one there, go in that line, go to that agent, and most likely they will help you because they're not helping anyone else. For most flights, you're allowed to bring on board a carry-on bag and a personal item like a backpack or a purse. If you end up having a little bit extra, you'll have no problem going through security. But sometimes the gate agents are a little bit more strict. They may make you check your carry-on if you have more than the two items. So to prevent this from happening, go to one of the stores after security, ask for a plastic bag and put any extra items in there. That way the people at the gate will just think you bought something from one of the stores and they will not ask you any questions. I have found that not many people know this because they're always surprised when I tell them that you can actually lift the armrest in the aisle seat. The armrest in the aisle seat, there's actually a little button underneath and you can press that and lift the armrest, so you have more leg space, knee space, especially if you're tall, just more room to move around. Check in ahead of time, and sometimes you will get your boarding pass emailed right to you. So if you are only traveling with a carry-on, when you get to the airport for your flight, you can just go directly to security and not have to worry about anything else. Now, if you are checking in and printing your boarding passes at the airport, what I like to do is screen grab my email confirmation that I got for my flight, which has all my information, on it and I screen grab it and I make it my lock screen on my phone. That way when I get to the airport, I'm not like going through all my 
emails trying to find the flight information. And that was over 30 plane and airport hacks that I hope you find useful for your next trip. If there are any hacks that I haven't mentioned that you wanna share with us, I would love to hear from you. I'm sure everyone else would. So leave a comment below and share with us. Before you go anywhere, there are more travel hack videos that you can check out. There's a packing hack video that's in this end slate. You can go and watch that. And also I've made a playlist for you of other travel hacks, travel tips, advice, and you can get that in the video description. So I will see you later. Happy travel.